This is the Game of Thrones limited edition whiskey by the Oban Distillery on the east coast of Scotland. Now, if you wanted to find out more about this whiskey and the distiller that makes it, or if you just want to know if it's worth £65 of your money, then stick around. This is the video for you. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die in my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all the nights to come. Bay Reserve is part of a special six bottle release by Diageo to cash in on the final series of Game of Thrones. Now we've already covered the Johnny Walker White Walker and you can watch that by clicking the card sort of up here-ish. The Open Bay Reserve is easily the most striking of the lineup they have released, thanks in no small part to the beautiful black bottle it's been presented in. I'm a little bit disappointing having actually gotten this to find that it is, much like the White Walker, just a wrap around the bottle rather than the actual bottle being dark black. But anyway. The bottle comes engraved with the Oath of the Night's Watch, as we've just heard, and much of the inspiration for the bottling comes from the fact that, much like Cattle Rock, Oban Distillery sits at the foot of an imposing cliff face overlooking the bay. Oban Distillery is one of the oldest operating distilleries in Scotland, having first started producing whiskey in 1794. The distillery is currently owned by global drinks giant Diageo, and is the second smallest whiskey distillery under their ownership, bested only by Royal Lochnagar. Oban producing 670,000 litres of whiskey in total, which sounds like a lot, but when you consider how globally well known they are, it's not really. A little bit of history and a little bit on the bottling aside, I think it's important for us to actually give this a go. So, in we go. Um, I've had a few Obans in the past. I'm quite a fan of them as a general rule. They tend to have a bit of salinity to them, a bit of smoke sometimes. I'm curious what this one's going to be like, because obviously a lot of these have been held back as a special, well, cash-in, let's not be anything other than what it is, but um, I'm curious to see if it's actually good whiskey. I've heard good things, uh, I've checked out a fair few reviews, um, the Americans got this way before we did, which is weird, because I'm in fucking Scotland, like, anyway, uh, what's it smell like? Mmm, ooh, slightly smoky. Bit of salted caramel on that, sort of a grass undernote to it, bit of dark chocolate. I have something else, something kind of savoury about it. Oh, no, licorice. Yeah, totally. Like, um, like the black swizzly licorice that you get. A little bit of wood, oak, maybe? Something a bit like a barn in that as well, like, um, if you go into a horse's stables or something like hay, maybe? Hay or horse, not quite sure. Maybe, maybe horse. We'll go with horse. It smells kind of like horse. Fucking crazy complex, actually. And loads of chocolate and caramel on that, um, a little bit of a woody influence. Not as much smoke as I was maybe expecting, but yeah, um, it's got an element of sweetness to it, which I'm okay with. I'm quite okay with my slightly sweeter whiskies. Okay, cool. I'm gonna throw this back. Oh, immediate licorice. Ve Ooh, very immediate licorice. And then kind of that caramel note as well. None of the chocolate from the smell really coming through. A little bit of cherry. Yeah, and then like an oaky finish on it. With the sweetness and the saltiness of it together, I would have to go with salted caramel. That's what it's reminding me of. Loads of that licorice. If you're a fan of licorice, then you're going to love this. Yeah, and then almost kind of like a very mild tobacco on the finish as well. That's fantastic. That's absolutely bloody brilliant. Um, is it worth 65 quid? For the money... I think there are more exciting expressions. Um, if you're a whiskey collector, then this is absolutely worth the money because Jesus Christ, will you make your money back on this? Holy shit, you'll be a rich man. You, you'll retire a happy, happy man. I actually went the cheap option and I got a second bottle of the White Walker. I'm not opening this, I'm gonna sell it, but I'm 40 and broke. It's a fantastic introduction to whiskey, which I suppose is kind of what this line is going for. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't go for one of the other distilleries, having now tried this. Um, I'm a big fan of Lagavulin, I've never really tried uh, Royal Lochnagar, and there's a few others that they have released as well, which they've not talked about here. I think it's on the back of this tin. Uh, uh, Cardu, Dalwini, Lagavulin, Singleton, Kleinelish, Rock Lochnagar, Talisker, and Oban. So, we've got the Oban there. And it's, do you know what? It's a lovely whiskey. It's an absolutely fantastic whiskey. Um, I am not convinced that it's worth the money, but 
If you have 65 quid rocking around and you're a fucking mega fan of Game of Thrones, then I'm sure you would love this. There is so much tie-in liquid at the minute. Like, they've released their own wine. There is a Star Trek scotch whiskey with Scotty's name on it at the minute, which I kind of want to get my hands on. There's loads of strange and unusual tie-in stuff at the minute. And the quality of it varies very dramatically, it has to be said. But overall, I'm a fan. I like this. It wasn't a waste of money. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I would probably go with one of the other expressions, which are a little bit cheaper. And I'm curious to see what they're like, to be honest, because this is a good overall whiskey. If you want to see my review again of the White Walker, then there will be a card up above. And this is the bit of the video where I admit that I've not seen Game of Thrones. Not necessary, because it just lets me talk about the whiskey. At the end of the day, that's what I'm here for. It's the liquid in the glass. I don't need to have seen the episode in order to have done that. However, I am planning on doing a reaction video of me watching episode one with this. Comment down below if you'd like to see me do that, because I haven't got a fucking clue how to set that up. Right, I'm gonna go drink this entire bottle. Excuse me. <laughs>